Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2, Long War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken, we're playing Legendary Iron Man Difficulty and this is month number 6, Beta 1. We are still in a tough battle with the aliens and this uh, upcoming mission is not an exception. Uh, the aliens are trying to reinforce Brazil, probably to kind of make it the next uh, big uh, thing for them. Which means they're putting enemy material in here, we discovered it, and now we can get all of the bodies that we're killing, plus uh, their loot. But the team that we have put into place, unfortunately, I mean it's good, but it is not that good to uh, take on almost 30 enemies, so we're probably going to boost uh, this one here. We have Laura, Baja, um, Richardson, the gunner who hits super well. Got a specialist, got Rascal as a ranger, got one of our new upcoming sharpshooters, Shinobi, and our Prime Spark. So that's a good um, team, but it's probably not good enough for 20 plus, uh, 28 plus enemies. We're instead going with moderate 20 enemies and jumping right into the mission. Good, and here we go. We landed. In a ready to ambush advent, one of the few missions where we don't have any time limitation. The only job is to neutralize all targets, 20 overall. So that is refreshing. For once, we don't need to rush all too much. Taking definitely going to take the high ground up here. It would be a bit dangerous. I don't know what's around the corner. On the move. So let's take the high ground over here. Physical exertion outpoint. Moving to designated coordinates. Difficult. Are we going to? You know what? I'd like to position ourselves over here. That means, in case the pack is approaching us from this side, we already got high ground and can take two shots. All right. No idea where the enemies are coming from. But whilst we are waiting here, it's good practice to already call the Sky Ranger, just in case something is going wrong. This is Firebrand. Evac request confirmed. Hold tight. Orders confirmed. On the move. All right. Got nothing over here. And interestingly enough, nothing over there as well. Okay, I'll go. Rolling. So that'll give us cover down here. We're a little bit exposed from this, uh, from the side up here, but that's fine since we already know that there is isn't anyone around at the moment. Let's steady our weapon. I'll monitor that area. Come get some. I don't think we're alone out here. Is that a pack of six enemies? Recalculating trajectories. I mean, it's overall 20, right? And yet. That's like what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight enemies. <laughs> that is crazy. And there's yet another. Wow, there's yet another pack of eight back there. 
Um, well, well, gentlemen. Okay, I'm thinking we could go ahead just a little bit further, but that'll trigger two overwatch shots, right? can still see them, that's good, so if someone triggers overward shots it should be Bishop here, gets an April call to make it more difficult to hit him. Bishop moves up here, triggers both of the overward shots. Okay, and now we could hit three. Maybe even four targets. One, two, three. Okay. I mean, I think we're going for that side here. I don't think we need overdrive this round. Probably would prefer using it next round though. Because we only got 50-50 shots and that isn't particularly helpful. Okay. Lots of hundred percent shots. I like the idea of getting that Advent Grenadier down. <clears throat> Fortifying our position and let's take a shot because he doesn't have a better target anyways. Let's go for the Grenadier, come on. Unfortunately, minimum damage. We're leaving them with one HP, which is definitely not good. Baya is moving over, I want the other high ground. Body shield versus the officer. Killing the stun lancer first.
Getting over to here and handing over the command to Baya again. Uh, we do have a normal auto loader. Do we want overwood shots or are we just okay with uh, suppression? I think we want overwood shots, which means I'm reloading for free. And then it's area suppression. Moving into full cover, because I don't want to stand in the open. That's just not effective. It's definitely good that we went for the reload. She's absolutely smashing it. Shit, we just triggered the other pack. Well, this is definitely going to be a slugfest now. I mean, look at it. Oh boy. Our sniper position is compromised. Shit. There is a mech in the background. I. This here is not looking good. Well, thanks for overdrive. Because we needed this turn. being suppressed. Okay. You know how we can stop suppression? Damn right, counter suppression. Reload. It should have stopped the suppression, to be honest. I mean, we can move up to here. That is dangerous, but we can't stay here because it's even more dangerous. Can't move uh, really all the way back. This here is a potential position. Not the worst one either. Let's start with harassing the mech. 80% shot has missed. We're pulling back. Yeah, 
Yeah, we can't just charge in. That's that's not a wise idea. <sighs> too many enemies. Definitely too many enemies. And we could use grenades. What we shouldn't do is, we shouldn't stand in the open without any additional cover. We need to withdraw the mech a little bit. Although, killing some of them sounds incredibly attractive at the moment. We need to move back. Here's some indestructible cover that might be good for the shinobi out of explosion range. Let's see if we can hit the mech. First shot might trigger the overwatch. No, we're just being suppressed, so... Shots are being harder. Shredded it. And using the overdrive to move away. Can't kill the mech, unfortunately. And I'm not seeing the one hit point guy that I saw earlier. Oh, I was hoping for high ground back here. But there isn't any. Position ourselves over here in high ground. I think that's not even a bad idea. The shooting angles will be bad, but it's not a terrible position. The other option is back here, which is actually a better option, to be honest. Full cover really far back and no one is there. Now let's start slowly but surely harassing the Archon. Way too many hit points. Increase the explosion range of uh, the explosion radius of um, of the blazing pinions, which is interesting. Nice. Very nice. Hope he learned his lesson. Oh no, they're shooting at me. Yes, waste your efforts on the robot. 
boy, oh boy. That this here escalated so quickly. Eight protocol definitely on our mech. I am going to risk it. Fortunately, a fail. If we could have taken it over, it would have meant that we are, uh, that we would have pretty much turned the tides of the battle. Still a bit uncomfortable with uh, letting the mech stand in the open. There is only so much I can do. You need to remove this suppression. Very nice, because now we can suppress. Baya has done a really good job doing that. We're challenging this guy here to a one-on-one. -on -one. Can hit us again if he li uh, if he likes to. All right, reloading. We're we need to uh, area suppress them again. Shieldbearer is not a big threat for us. We're running out of good cover. We do have 4 to 5 for one round. Trying to reach the mech somehow. Moving up, fortifying our position. Okay, we could hit the Mac. Problem here is we do have great shooting angles, but no one can spot for us. Probably should have moved to here, just so that we can see those clowns. Yeah, this here costs yet another turn. I really don't like it, but if no one can scout for us, uh, the whole squad side Ability is completely pointless. Body shield. Air, area suppression on five. And we're trying to down the mech. One more turn and we got it down. Yeah, 
Yeah, it was half cover. It wasn't full flank. And there goes the suppression. Fortunately, they broke it because we ran out of ammunition. Worked out well. Do you see them attacking me? Okay. Gotta put the mech back next round. We're taking severe damage now. We're still having a somewhat better position almost. Power drive could heal himself. Or Rascal. Rascal is more injured. This here could be a kill. Let's try to get down the mech. Nice, good job. Next up. What can the sniper see? 41 is not good, but I like the 71% odds. Definitely could go to here and massacre this guy. We're moving back to here. I don't think that we can take many more shots is the problem. That he would take care of the mutants. I think we need to continue to all uh, to suppress them. Definitely kill him. Bishop could move over here. It's a dangerous game. Bishop is super healthy anymore. What's his all, uh, chance of hitting him? Okay, that's not bad. But accuracy. Um. Let's suppress these guys. This is pretty much a no-brainer. Moving a bit further over here. I was hoping that we would um, soften the mutant up so that he would almost die. This here could interrupt the 
Yeah, and it interrupts. Uh, melee attack. And we're parrying. The enemy hasn't learned their lesson. Another melee attack? No. Ouch. Nine points of damage. Try hit killing the mutant. It's negative. Very nice. Because mutants cannot really be attacked super well in melee. It's much more easy to use our shinobi at a different position. Nice little gremlin heal. And let's start to uh, start to soften up the mutant. Body shield and suppression. We are the only target that the mutant sees. So moving away, Overwatch, just for good measure, a protocol. In case the mutant runs towards the back. This is Firebrand. It's time to go. Okay, the mutant hasn't done anything interestingly enough. Let's continue to suppress him. There now. Going for full cover here. Moving a little bit closer for another Overwatch. Overwatch. And Bishop Overwatches as well. We got him nicely cornered. Now it's time to mop up. I definitely got that one. The bad thing about all of this is we're not even done. So that was a pack of eight plus Archon, Muton, Muton, Mech. That's 12. 
I know it felt much harder than that, mainly because we were fighting all 12 of them at the same time. And there comes yet another pack. Group of four this time. And the Centurion is already down. Great. Okay, three Overwatches. We weren't completely ready to engage another pack, but so be it. We are body shielding and Reload plus suppression. We, we can't fight it that uh, this turn. We killed uh, the most dangerous enemy. We can't totally go nuts in this turn. Plus, we need to be careful. The vipers can have. Pretty damn good aim. Oh. Oh. Well. Just got a little bit more interesting. Moving over here so that we can take um, flanking shots. And we're overwatching. That's a 50 50. I'm willing to take it. We have enough overwatches. And some of the Vipers have lightning reflexes, so overwatch really doesn't mean shit. Good. We do have a problem. We pulled yet again multiple packs. There now. Moving into a better spot. This time we're not overwatching on anyone. Let's kill this guy. Probably steadying our weapon. Got a pretty strong flank over, uh, over here. They are moving on to us. We pulled four of them. One is here. One is killed. I guess the question is what happened with the other one.
The answer is he's standing right there. Alright, kill him, come on. Can we take a shot is the question. No cover over here. It really sucks. We got to finish him. The mech is slow though. Not sure if it can take another hit or if we should just move it back. No one needs a lot of healing at the moment. Might as well work on improving our positioning. This is a dangerous game though. If we move over here. There is a direct flank from here once the mech isn't there anymore. Unfortunately, 8 protocol is down at the moment. Uh, with 8 protocol I would see that the mech definitely could stand there. Move all the way up to here. Basically take the shot, kill this guy. And withdraw the mech. At the expense of a pretty open flank over here. This is probably a no-brainer. We can kill it and be in cover. And that's making the whole flank a little bit easier. Plus there aren't any additional packs already. Oh wow. Already triggered everyone. Fifty-fifty. Let's be efficient with our economy. We're reloading and try to kill the viper. In the end, that worked out good. Now the one million dollar question is: Shall we go to here? I would say yes. Don't want to lose the mech. Fortify to make it really safe. And that's not even the best chance, but it's better than nothing. Miss the walk fire, which is a re which was a really crucial shot. Which forces our hand to kill and essentially hope that six hit points are going to be enough. Yes, they are. Yes, they are, if Prime Mech is still standing. Hits into full cover. Misses into half cover. Guys, this here is getting intense. Enemy down. All right, let's get rid of the Overwatch back there. Nice. 
the shinobi just bullied her way through the entire uh, through the entire uh, pack back here. She single-handedly killed the entire flank, right? Body shield, making it a full cover, and let's kill the sidewinder. Two points of damage. One of those days. Eight hit points, eight hit points. She's got a feeling she's going to be attacked. Might as well heal her. Okay, one more healing left over. Baya has a pretty decent cover. Rascal here could use a bit more cover. And our Shinobi probably could use even more cover. Let's give it to Rascal. He hasn't been injured yet. And we could use him for another mission. Meaning that the guy will probably go for the Shinobi. The Shinobi. Still 88%. I love it. Ooh. Negative damage. So close. Looks like something over here. Enemy destroyed. Positive confirmation. Area secured. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. Guys, that was more intense than I would have imagined. A pack of eight, like that pack was massive in itself. And then this uber pack on top of it, Archon plus uh, double Muton plus this heavy mech, just like bullying a hundred hit points through that, uh, through that little um, entrance. I totally like the way that this mission played out because um, area um, area suppression isn't always shining as a skill it's not a bad skill don't get me wrong but in this particular case just also with the uh, magazine size has worked so well uh, she took a lot of uh, extra shots they were suppressed couldn't use their special abilities and, and overall it was just it was just a very entertaining fight at times when we were fighting against 10 enemies, I was like, mm, that's probably going to drain too many resources now. We might not be able to do the mission. And then we pulled yet another eight at a time. So very clustered and very dense enemy structure. Good mission. We got three promotions. We pretty much deserved that. All right. Lovely. I really like where that was going. You know, I mean, the detection radius was always great, but I want to try really a solid focused melee build. I like where, that, uh, where it was going so far, and I feel the detection radius, yeah, it's important. Don't get me wrong for a scouting purpose, but more often than not, I end up uh, losing her concealment anyways due to an Archon just charging in or um, uh, us being forced to take her. So might as well use Cutthroat here. I just want to give it a try and see how it works. Rascal, 
got a really strong overall build. I, I like the emplaceable uh, topic. Bring it on is also good if you're more kind of a stationary uh, soldier, but as you have seen, maybe it's just my play, play style, but more often than not, it is worthwhile really like changing locations in between to get into a new flanking position. So I definitely want to go with Emplaceable here. The Kubikiri is tempting, not going to lie. Let's take it. Mainly because even if, though it has a pretty strong cooldown, I mean Kubikiri and bring it on together. Oh no, we should, then would have needed to take aggression here to get the crit chance up. Never mind, but still Kubikiri isn't bad at all. We just need to make sure that there is plenty of crit chance. Um, our mech has Shredder. The body shield probably would have been a good idea as well. I'm starting to like that a lot. Gain bonus armor, uh, gain a bonus uh, point of armor, and always provide hide cover to all the Jays and squad mates. Ooh, that's pretty good. I like it. Hold targeting isn't bad either. Mm. We're going for bulwark. And look at that. So much loot. Plus, did we get an Archon? Yes, we got an Archon. I want to research uh, the Archon soon. They, uh, the autopsy opens up the strongest melee weapon, so the highest tier of melee weapons. We've got the schematics, and our equipment is ready to begin assembly, Commander. Just give the word and we'll build the skull jack. Do we need to repair our spark, or how did they, how did they do it? Oh, it just gets a wounded status. Okay. Well, too bad. Overall, it was definitely worth it. Really good mission. And we re we should have probably knocked down the strength. Yeah, strength um, down to three. They're recruiting, recruiting. Uh, there is another recruit here. Recruiting and Intel. Good. Resistance communications facility now operational. Got ourselves a nice little resistance comms facility. That'll allow us to continue making contact. And I think we agreed we wanted to continue making contact. Oh no, we wanted to have North America first. And then we essentially wanted to go over to the new Arctic. Okay, fair enough. 134 Intel, that's... Okay, and we got a hundred intel because that is directly linked. Uh, the hundred and thirty-four intel was the reduced intel price. So might as well start connecting here. Commander, we've utilized all of our available communications capacity. We can't establish any new contacts until we upgrade our systems. Oh yeah, thanks, Shen. Three hours, but we would have gotten a lot of um, rookies out there. Can't do it though. Three hours is not not enough time. Nice. We got the coil guns. 
which opens a lot of um, which opens a lot of options for us. I don't want to render the faceless type. Forget about it. Oh, we need more supplies. Well, surprise, surprise. Before we do that, though, let's do a really quick. By the way, battle armor is also would also be an option. Uh, I don't know. No, Saiken, so you gotta stay focused. You got to stay focused. So, where is the Archon? Archon autopsy, four days. Yep. Product of an the Chosen, known as the Assassin, seems to mirror the traits of the nobler warrior archetypes we know throughout our own history. Having witnessed, and more importantly, heard the unusual commentary delivered by this assassin, I cannot help but wonder the source of these unique personality traits. Oh, by the way, uh, when going through the armory, I found a soldier whom we might need to reskill. I was checking the armory and yeah, aftermath. I unfortunately misskilled here. Should have taken Lone Wolf instead of Precision. Shot Lone Wolf gives uh, gives you additional aim, and the Precision shot. I w I absolutely wasn't happy with it. It was seldomly uh, really critting uh, well, so. Not a big fan of it at all. Um, maybe with more base crit and better ammunition, it's a different story, but overall, I'd like to reskill him. So that is Babitut Akiwanda. There we go. Takes us, I think, 10 days. Yeah. There's another potential mission. Heck, the workstation. Get intel. Three days, 22 hours. What's our baseline? Seven to nine enemies? Okay, I'll get something together. So I was playing around with the configuration a bit. Between two and four soldiers, there's really not too much difference in the infiltration time. We got something going for a baseline of up to 15. That is definitely doable with four soldiers, specifically if they are of higher rank. So I couldn't use uh, rookies for that, but I don't want to invest Intel into such an easy mission. The only problem with that mission so far was we haven't uh, really discovered it early enough. Elsewise, that would have been a prime mission to put some rookies in. in to drop. See? There's an extremely light mission. Gets Elite, gets Intel. We're now getting the missions that we were looking for. Here we go. And there we go, yet another team, this time five. Rob Ross, uh, together with Scooter, Gunner, our Sergeant Lights Out, and our Spark, uh, the third Spark, uh, the Wasp Spark, is going to go into this mission. Only nine enemies, should be easy. Not even a challenge. See, that's the advantage if the vigilance level is low. You can just run those missions like there is no tomorrow. Got ourselves 
a technician let's take a short look here I need to customize him good much better I just found out that uh, he can carry a shotgun which is perfect given that he's going to work with his nap napalm and his flamer so he's going to be like all up in the face of the enemy i love it so that was technician we have a gunner specialist we have a couple of sharp sh sharpshooters we got a few assaults we wanted to have one more um shinobi i think definitely wanted to have one more shinobi and what else i mean mustafa here can be a perfect shinobi we wanted probably another assault right how, is, how many specialists do we have overall technician is fine one two three four five six seven eight one two three four five six seven but I mean de facto we only have seven specialists because one of them is going to be kind of an overwatch um, specialist which is not really how I'm usually playing them we got a decent amount of uh, rangers so that's going to be fine could use another gunner maybe grenadiers are fine got an assault Yeah, Shinobi. There's uh, the extra assault. And I think we wanted another Shinobi. Good, which is fine, perfect, lovely. You can always use these rookies later. Currently, a lot of missions are popping up yet again. Well, that's a great one. Nine days is a lot of time to infiltrate it. Not sure if we have the manpower though. Let me double check that. Okay, I got a nice team for this mission, but we needed to mobilize everything, uh, everything we had. We're throwing everything at it, plus the kitchen sink. Um, we took all of the Haven advisors out of uh, the of their respective roles, and I'm even taking some here with us who is currently tired so she might have another psychosis anyways we got one of our rangers we got a no-name um, specialist we got dynamite who's one of the upcoming um, cover removal grenadiers we got a absolutely fresh squaddy uh, sniper we got the squaddy um, technician that just recently had been um, had been running through training. I take a moderately injured mech with me. It's not as bad as it looks. It's missing five hit points. Uh, that is true. But on the other hand, uh, it'll get seven shield on top of it. So we just need to play a little bit further uh, back with a mech with and and don't charge in. And we got Wolverine here, who's probably going to quote unquote carry this mission. Got enough time to infiltrate it, and it should be fine.
we're staying true with our tactic, which is maximum aggression against uh, the aliens. Mission after mission. I wish we could finally get something done here. Ah, there we go. Yet another mission, right? Well, it's time for an ambush, guys. And we're going to see that in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, it was a pleasure as always. And don't forget to tune in in two days. Plus, leave a comment and a like down below. Thanks and have a great day. Bye-bye.